continue life, okay, okay. to survive. Uh, and it's hard because all the other people around us are friends of us, and we get the news in life. Every moment, and other people that you know closely, wow. not with us. Wow. And, excuse me? Yeah. It's hard. No, it's okay. It's so hard. And we have to be hard for continue, because all the community yeah. depends on us. What would be your biggest need? Need? Huh? I don't know where to start, because there's a lot of stuff not, uh, you know, no, not like uh, uh, food shows, uh, uh, surviving stuff. Like we have keramic uh, uh, vests. We have two. We have 20 people out. Give it to the soldier, give it to the head of the settlement. In a problem situation like this, you need, but you don't, you can't handle to get them uh, now. Uh, you know, we had. Uh, Helmet. Helmet. Helmet, yeah. It, uh, generator. Generator. Uh, uh, there was a problem. Hi, friends. We're here in a community just eight kilometers from the Gaza border. This is how close we are to the Gaza border. Uh, this community just experienced 72 hours of lockdown with terrorists on the streets. And we were able to come to this community and say, what, what do you need? Uh, there are a few women who are meeting all the needs of the community. The, about half the community is evacuated, the other half really wants to continue to stay here. And we came with food and supplies this morning, but they said we really need a generator, we need some helmets, we need some protective uh, uh, life vests, we need um, uh, flashlights. There's a lot of things they realized they didn't have in case of a crisis. And we went to the store, we were able to track down generators, water, supplies, and we came back and we were able to bless them and they were blown away. So what do you need a generator from the uh, yeah. From the car. Both of the ladies that are running things here, they have gotten very little sleep in the last three days, just continually serving the needs of the community. And we're able to come and serve their needs. And it was like an answer to prayer for them. So thank you guys for your support uh, for this uh, emergency crisis response fund. This is what, what this is enabling us to do, is really lift up the arms of the first responders, of the people that are here right on the front lines. For us, you're saving us. Because we don't know how, how many, you know, how many days, how many weeks, we're gonna be in this situation. I'm so <laughs> emotional right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I, I, I couldn't imagine that it, this stuff will, come, will get to us so soon, so quickly. I mean, we had to do it quickly. I'm, I'm shocked.